Hello world, welcome back to another little trading video by Ghost Flash Drew. Okay, so I decided to take a position today. You could say this is already a head and shoulders on oil, um, but I didn't even notice that at the time I was making this trade. Should have really. It was around 3 to 6 a.m. that I was looking at this level here. I was like, hmm, this looks interesting. Reason why is because there's so much selling sellers, and what I genuinely believe is we're in this type of scenario right now. Um, here, um, reason why I believe that is because when I woke up today, maybe like three, four hours ago, and I was just seeing a lot of negative news. I was like, okay, okay, and the momentum is short. I saw this little spike earlier when the market opened so it gave me even more confidence that my positions were pretty sound yeah so i took the position around here and i put my stop loss it was like somewhere around here um so this didn't even affect me um and i was snoring at that time <laughs> yeah no it worked out really well uh, i'm definitely a happy bunny with the trade this trade here uh, well not trade this um movement yeah, really um, caught my eye because it was like a, uh, I would say, three to four dollar move in that one bar, and we've kind of already done that now. Um, it could go a bit lower, to be honest. I'm even tempted to hold this as a swing trade now, um, and see if it would actually go further. I'm looking at the 76 level as a nice uh, uh, take profit level, but I'm also noticing a lot of movements here. This is kind of interesting for me right now because it's actually showing me how strong the buyers are and I would say if it breaks this level here to this level is kind of a worrying sign. I may have to close a portion 80 to 70% of the position that I'm in just to collect some profits because technically if you're breaking this you're creating a higher high and it's not what I really want to see and you'll be breaking this moving average I don't really want to see that neither <laughs> I would like it to just stop around here and doesn't break this and then carries on that's what I would like it to do question is will it do it <laughs> time will tell when I mentioned that it's a cool little trade you could potentially do if it does break this level like I said if it does break that level it will go back to where I originally got the position and then I would expect it again to head down so it's technically like this level I don't want it to break I don't even want it to break this yeah I don't want it even I just want it to bounce here and then to come down that's what I would like it to do give me even more confidence that the buyers don't have control over this um, asset and the sellers do um, so this is great what it's doing right now So now we can see it's just a free trade and I'm gonna collect at least $14 and um, hopefully we can get all the way to 64 but yeah time will tell it's definitely gonna be a swing trade this was interesting oil spill not good for the planet for sure so on this chart it's saying I could probably put 7980 and do 77, 79, 77 so yeah there's always discrepancies between um, platforms but yeah, it's calm my face really doesn't care as long as man can try and make some some little change here I'm happy every little helps Right, I don't want even want to close part of the trade, uh, really don't, I'd rather just let the whole thing run. But this looks great, I'm happy, I'm happy. Come and sell this, go sell this. <laughs> this is great. As long as it carries on moving like this, this just shows me that you're not breaking this level now, that's even better. It's just perfect, you just hit the roof on this area here now you're heading back down I'm happy it looks great I hope this little trading video gives you some ideas and not risk so much I was already risking on the eToro 
$18 out of my $200. Now I'm not even risking anything. I'm gonna win at least $31. And this one was only, I think it was like $100. Just minus 25 of the total. Gotta be patient. And um, draw your lines, draw your lines. I draw my lines. Like, I got, it's a bit messy, but yeah. Forgive me. This is a weekly, so all the bold, really bold lines are weekly, like closes. Um, and all the smaller lines, um, less bold lines, are um, dailies. Yeah, that's what I like to look at higher time frames and hold the trade for much longer than maybe an average trader would do. Doesn't always work, but yeah, when it does work, it is happy days. Thank you for checking out the channel. Thanks for all the subscribers. And hopefully we'll do more trading videos when I take out trades. <laughs> take care and um, see you soon. Bye. Peace.